Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is wiring your typical bedroom, and we'll walk through the house itself. This is a three gang box. This three gang box is going to cover, so nice and neat, everything's running to the side. You strapped everything up nice and neat. This three gang box goes to a fan. This is a fan rated box. We always run 14 free wire into it. And we we'll come back out. Come back again out of the switch box. We we'll go up. In this case, we're running a rope light into a socket right here. Okay, now these rooms have to be on arc fault circuits. So what we try to do is run everything separately. So in this case, we came down. We ran one wire around. I want you to look. We put them through sleeves and studs. We ran over to this outlet here. And then if you see the second wire, we backtracked that outlet to this outlet box here, which is going to be into a closet in the other room. We came out of here again. And then we've looked over to the switch box. This switch box going down to this box and then it's just going up. All we're doing is connecting all the dots, okay? You see where that wire to the left has come over to this box to the right? Okay, then the, then the box to the right has came over. It's gone over here to a TV outlet. This is a wall mount television. And then if you notice, the receptacle here, we've got one receptacle here, and we went down, and we put both outlets inside the switch box, both wires. You only want one wire behind your television. As we pan through the house here, I'm going to talk, walk into the next bedroom. It's the same principle. Three gang switch box. Receptacle below. Can okay, straight down one wire. Up. To the switch box. To rope lighting. Then, we, then what we do, we just bed over. It's just like playing dots. All we did was connect all the dots. Just connected all the dots, okay? We'll come over here. Run back around over here. And that's how we've got them all strapped nice and neat. This is to keep the sheetrock from damaging the wires, from drawing the holes into them. And you get the, the gist of it. Four gang switch box. So we've got everything strapped nice and neat to the center of the stud. We've found all the holes are so we can keep air from leaking through. Also, it's fireproofing. This is going to be for a floor outlet. Got to get here and drill this out. This here is the kitchen. The yellow wire is the 12 2 circuits. The white wire is going to be 14 circuits. Orange wire is 10 gauge circuits. And here's a 10 gauge right here. This is a drop in oven. If you have any questions, just go to our website. We try to blog and talk about everything that we do. If you like this video, please share. Please subscribe and please comment. Thank you.